hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to set alarm in react native's new architecture for android uh, unfortunately this is not possible in ios so this will be only an android specific video so let's get started the first thing which you have to do is open this documentation because we will be creating a turbo module and i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation so it's better you keep this documentation handy Firstly, I'll show you the output. So here I have one button called set alarm and if I go to my uh, alarm app, as you can see over here, there are no alarm set. Okay. Now I will again go back to my react native app. I'll open it. And if I just click on set alarm, uh, here you can see it has set alarm at uh, seven o'clock on uh, 30 minutes or however you say it. Uh, okay so if you if i go back uh, to my alarm app okay so if i go back to my alarm app here you can see it has uh, set up an alarm of 7 colon 30 and it has also set this wake up message uh, now uh, let's see how to do this so uh, firstly uh, what i have done is that uh, we will have to create a turbo module so for that i have created this folder called rt and my alarm inside that i have created a package.json file again i have copy pasted everything from the documentation only this name changes uh, this name changes and uh, this name changes and this package name changes okay then i have created one js folder inside that i have created a typescript file again copied it from docs only this method name has been changed and this specific name has been changed then i have created an android folder inside that i have created this uh, build.gradle file first okay again i have copy pasted it from docs uh, so only uh, this uh, Gradle version has been updated and uh, compile SDK version I have kept it as 34 because that is the highest at the point of me recording this video and the namespace is RT and my alarm here I am using Kotlin Android because I want to use Kotlin as well as I have added the Kotlin standard lib as well then I have created this folder src main java com RT and my alarm and here firstly I have created this my alarm package.kt file so again i have copy pasted it from docs only this name has been changed this has been changed this 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 and this has been changed rest everything else uh, remains the same okay i quickly i want to check one more thing now you don't have to do this because you won't be able to see this code inside your android studio okay so uh, let me quickly check this okay everything is fine uh, okay uh, next uh, we have to create this file called my alarm module.kt again I have got most of the code has been copied from docs like this entire thing has been copied from docs only this names has been changed and here as you can see I am passing for which days I want to set the alarm so you can change it to whatever you feel like then here we are setting our alarm set the hour and minutes to whatever you feel like if you want you can send it from react native side as well this is the message these are the days and skip you I have kept it as true then uh, given we have to set this flag activity new task as well and then this will just uh, start our activity okay just a second huh? okay I we don't really require this don't really need this comma okay and here uh, make sure you use the same name whatever is your folder name once uh, this is done you will have to open your terminal firstly you will have to search for new work enabled inside your project it should be present inside gradle dot properties and you have to make this as true so this will enable new architecture next you will have to open your terminal go to the root of your react native project and firstly run this particular command once you run this command then you have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project and then uh, just uh, run this particular command uh, so here uh, as i was saying like uh, instead of rn app you will have to use your own project name as you can see my project name is rn app over here over here as well as over here and this should be your turbo module name uh, once uh, this is done you will have to cd to the main android folder which is this one and then run this particular command so this will do code generation for android uh, now the other thing which you have to do is go to android app src main android manifest.xml here you will have to add this set alarm permission as well as you also need to add this queries of uh, set alarm uh, okay these two things next uh, to use it i have imported it something like this 
and on the click of it i'm just calling rtn my alarm dot set alarm so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching bye